Hello and welcome to my tutorial to create an action sequence composite using Adobe Photoshop. Here's my final product for my action sequence composite. Um, a few quick tips on actually taking the pictures is that you'll want to have enough light on your subject because we're going to be using a fast shutter speed. You'll also want your camera to be in burst mode and to be on a tripod. I also had my subject practice the motion so I could set the framing so my subject would be ex all within the frame throughout their motion. You'll see here that I also took two sequences of the wall jump in order to have more pictures for my actual final composite. To create the composite, go to Adobe Photoshop, hit File, Automate, Photo Merge. This will pull up the Photo Merge screen. You'll want to make sure you have the layout on Auto and unselect the Blend Images Together option. Browse for your photos and select the ones you want to use. Hit Open and OK in order to get Adobe Photoshop to create the Photo Merge for you. Also, you'll want to make sure and that the first image of the sequence is the bottom layer and the last image is the top layer. Mine actually came in in reverse order so I'm going to really quickly drag them into the right order. Now select the top layer and go ahead and mask that. You'll want to make sure you're on the brush tool and that the ink color is black in order to be able to just brush and draw in your subject from the layer behind. I'm actually going to bring this over make sure that I get um, where my subject was in the other layers behind so that it will save me some time later. Now you'll select the next layer below, create a mask on that as well, and start drawing in. And in this case I'm getting rid of his shadow on one of the layers. You want to draw in the subject from the next layer below. You're going to just repeat that until you have your final composite. And as you can see, the um, more you're able to do this, the quicker you'll get because you'll see how much you'll need to bring in from each of these layers. And it does just take a little bit of trial and error to see where you need to go in order to bring your subject in fully. And sometimes it's a little bit of guessing as to which layer you're going to need to draw in more. But then you get your final action composite that you see here. And then after that, you'll just want to make some quick edits. I like to go ahead and create um, new layer edits to do things like levels and uh, adjust the light here. You can adjust how much light you have in the picture. Oh, I actually have his hand out here a little bit. Um, anyway, so that's basically the whole process to create an action composite in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.